So the question I've got for you is that you travel the world, you interview, you take photographs, and really, what about you? What is it that you like about your job, but most of all, what is it creatively that propels you? Well, I love, I love relating to people. I love, mm -hmm. I love bringing, bringing out the inner soul of a person, especially in portrait work. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's a, it's not an easy thing to do when you're traveling and you don't speak the language, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have to find a way to communicate to break down the, the, the barriers that exist between people when they meet for the first time. And um, so. You, well, it's a little technical stuff, but you leave your cameras aside, you have a conversation first, mm -hmm. you get to know the person, and you, you start photographing. That's, that, I love that. And, um, and, and, and travel photography, which is very much part of getting to know the people of, of the country. Um, you know, and your other part of the question was? Was, um, as far as creativity, yes. okay, this is what you do for a job. What is it that uh, I was saying that propels you creatively? Is there other things about you that we don't know that that you love about um, creativity and how do you, would you express it if you didn't have a lens? If I didn't have a lens, I would uh, <laughs> I'd be in trouble because I I feel that I communicate best. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, not necessarily, because I do enjoy talking to people first. That's, that's the point that I was trying to make. But creativity, uh, well, I, I'm, I, it's necessary for me to, to, to make images that, mm -hmm. that, that are sort of unexpected, mm -hmm. unpredictable, and uh, uh, different than just the travel photographer who mm -hmm. goes around and to, to create to create a an image that is is surprising is, is uh, speaks to the subject is very it's it's not an easy thing to do but I but it's uh, it, it's not the the question would be more I think better appropriate for 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 your business yeah for, 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 you often say that for painting yeah I mean it's. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I never, I, I thought, I, when I talked about this, I don't know if you were there last night, or was it last night? Yes. I, I talked about um, the, the, uh, the difference between, uh, between photography as, or, or painting or sculpture, whatever, as a, as a profession. Mm -hmm. um, that is, the, the primary goal is to, is, a need is to make money. And I, I, th I think, I think, those people are, f are fewer and far between than the people who, who, who want to create, whether it's photographs or paintings, and they start with a certain passion, that, that the need, the need to, to create images that may be worth any money at all, and it's not about that. It's about, it's about trying to, to Show people what you what you see and what you feel through the lens, and it's uh, it's, it's it's not easy, but it's very um, creativity. I'm trying to think of, of a really good example of. Uh, I think and I think it's uh, I think it's mostly about uh, about, about people. I mean, the, the, the creative process with photography. Is much more is, is much more intense when you when you pierce the soul of somebody and really capture their their um, than it is with with what I, what I used to do a lot of and that is uh, uh, travel photography. Um, you get to do scenic landscapes. Well, it's uh, it's one that there are many ways to shoot a scene that are more interesting and where you you know it's it's not it's not as creative. As doing as as doing a portrait. I keep going back to portrait photography because because that's when I find that I'm really I'm, when, I'm, when I'm really connecting with somebody and, and creating an image that will will last. Will stand the test of time. Exactly. Isn't it? That's what it, you're saying. Exactly. And that gives you enough um, a drive 
to keep on looking to find the things that, that really yeah, yeah. connect with you yeah. and your subject. Yeah, exactly. Because it's your connection as well, isn't it? Yeah, and that's very important, that of course. That is so yeah. important. And, I mean, I'm only speaking from looking at a photograph that when I notice that there's a connection there from the photographer to the final product, mm -hmm. um, it's part of you that gets in, even if you're interviewing somebody, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And it's that, that, that connection right. that, that you have. Right, and you can tell, you can tell when you look at, I mean, I'm also a, uh, I spent most of my, my life at the New York Times as well, and most, but a good chunk of it as a, as a photo editor. And you can tell, when you're looking at somebody's portrait work, you can tell right away if that person is just taking pictures of somebody, mm -hmm. or whether they're really connecting to that person and making that person come, come alive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's two very different, uh, um, yeah, so that's, yeah, go on. And it's the same with paintings, isn't it? Yeah, I, paintings that come alive and, and there's a real connection in there. So, there's the, so the expression of creativity is the same. Uh, yeah, it? except I personally, <laughs> though I'm a photographer and I think I do create images as we just said, uh, uh, are, are do pass the test of time. Uh, I, I do, I think that, I mean a lot of photographers would be very angry when you're saying this, but I think that the painting is, takes, is a far, far more creative process. You're starting, you're starting with nothing as a painting. Only, only what's in your head and your emotions. And, and, and you, have to, you have to start from nothing and build something that people are going to look at and feel and, and react one way or the other with, with emotion. It's a little, it's a little different with, with photography. I don't, uh, I mean, there, there are so many people these days who call themselves photographers because it's so, it's so easy, well, I mean, with digital, with the age of digital photography that we're well into now, uh, what is it, uh, is it, is it 15, 18 years of digital photography, I think? Mm -hmm. um, everybody shoots digital pictures and they all think they're, they're photographers, but, you know, you place, you place two of those kinds of people and two, and two, and two photographers who are, who, are, who are really good next to one another to shoot the same scene and you'll have very, very different images. Uh, it's clear which, which ones are really, are really feeling something and which are just using the mechanics of the camera. Yeah. So, so um, I still believe that you can that what you do is equal to a painting. Mm -hmm. Only because to capture an image as, as a photographer that, that you can bring alive, it takes a special person. Mm -hmm. Just as it takes a special connection. Well, that, that's true. That's so, and there's only a few right. photographers that can do that. Well, that's the part, that's what I, what I tried to explain precisely. That it's, uh, you need to be able to, you, you, you have, there has to be something about a photographer's yes. personality. Yes. That works, yeah. or else, I mean, if, if you're dealing with, with, with famous people, celebrities, you have to always keep in mind, these people have been photographed by thousands, maybe, maybe yes. thousands upon thousands of people, and for you to make it special as a photographer, mm -hmm. you have to be, you have to come to them with some special sense of perhaps who they are, or mm -hmm. something that, that, that nobody else came to them with before. And I, you know, I photographed, uh, I photographed presidents, and uh, you know, it's, it's it's first very, it's it's at first uh, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's an experience that's uh, sort of, it's inspiring and it's very intimidating. You're sitting in front of Bill Clinton and you think, oh my God, this guy is thinking, oh, just another photographer. <laughs> that's why it's so important to engage in conversation first. And, and so many people who think they're photographers have no idea that you have to do that. You just don't sit down. And even, even if you're told by, 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 uh, by the representative of a, 
president or a famous actor or actress that you only have five minutes, no more. That's, that's always, it, nobody never has only five minutes. It's always about the fact that they want to feel comfortable with you and they want you, they want to feel that you're really appreciating the fact that you're sitting with them and you're, you're connecting with them. And then if they feel that, five, five minutes always turns into into 30 minutes or an hour or whatever. It really depends upon, upon how the conversation goes. Uh, I can think of, uh, I used to do a lot of portrait work of, of Hollywood stars, and especially in the 80s and early 90s. And, you know, each and every time, uh, it doesn't matter how much experience you have, when you meet somebody who you've not met for the first time, who's very, very famous, it's... Uh, as I said, it's initially it's very intimidating, and you have to get you have to get over that. You have to you have to think to you have to think to yourself, hey, this person this person does all the same things that, that I do, except they happen to have power. That's all. And you, you're just two human beings in a, in different situations, and you have to bring yourself you have to bring that subject down almost to your level, so you feel equal, or else you're not going to be able to really to to talk to them. That's, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, even, even, um, I once, uh, this is quite a long time ago, but I photographed, uh, just using this as, as, as a bit of a Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting with Paul McCartney and, and thinking, I mean, I'm waiting for him and I see him in the distance talking to his representative in an office much like this. And I think, oh, you know, here we go, here we go again. And this guy is just, you know, he's thinking, oh, God, I'm going to do it again. And yet, yes. and if you don't, I think that's part of it. I think that's part of the creative process. That if you bring that initially along, then uh, somehow or other that that dissipates and, and breaks up, and you begin to to talk and to relax. But uh, you, you do have to get over that moment, that initial contact. Okay. I mean, I think that's fantastic. That's perfect.